I'm Sophie Toner with your Bobcat Blaze News. Today is Friday, October 29th, 2021. Happy Fall Festival Day! Here is Miss Robinson's class with your Friday Funny. Hey there, Bobcats! What is a ghost's favorite amusement park ride? What? It's the roller coaster! Now here's Miss Swanson with your math masters. Welcome, this is Robinson's class with a trick for math class. Ladies, keep calm and show your work. Good work takes time. Hi, I'm Quinn. We would like to wish a special Bobcat happy birthday to Mrs. Robinson, who is a fourth grade teacher. Have a great birthday, Mrs. Robinson. Now to the weather. Today will be 55 degrees with rain later in the day. Tomorrow will be cloudy with showers with a high of 62 degrees. Sunday will be partly cloudy and 62 degrees. Have a great weekend. Now here is Cole with our Takes Pride theme. October's Takes Pride theme is acceptance. The Clubhouse Kids are back this year to help us learn how to be the best Bobcats we can be. Today the Clubhouse Kids help each other learn that showing acceptance means we listen and show respect to others. Act kind even when we disagree and we understand that other people have feelings. We can show acceptance by keeping an open mind and learning to respect differences, accepting others for who they are, and learning to appreciate uniqueness. Remember, not everyone will look like you, talk like you, or dress like you. The world would be a really boring place if they did. Let's see what happens to the clubhouse kids. Have you guys seen Bridget? Uh, no. Uh, no. Not today. I did. I saw her. I, I was out in front of the school. I was out checking the rain gauge to see how much okay. rain we got over the weekend. That's and she fine. walked by. I said hello, but she didn't really say anything back. That's well, weird. You know, maybe it was somebody who looked just like her, but just not Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was definitely Bridget. Come to think of it, she was wearing an outfit that looked a little bit different. And she may have been crying. What? She was crying? Oh my goodness, you guys, we need to help her. Oh wait, here, oh, here she is. Hey, hey Bridget. Bridget. Hey. 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 What's going on, Bridget? Hey. What's the matter, Bridget? You look really upset. I like your outfit, by the way. That's just it, my outfit. What's wrong with your outfit? Is that why Doug saw you crying out front? Kids can be so unkind. I walked past a group of kids and they laughed at my outfit and said I looked odd. Oh. Whatever that means. But it didn't sound very nice. No. Maybe they thought your clothes looked unique. You know, one of a kind. One of a kind. Yeah, you know, sometimes kids think we all need to look the same. The same hair, the same clothes, the same haircut. But, you know, the same things. But I think that's not really true because being different that's what makes us all unique and special. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what? I always try to keep an open mind and accept people for who they are. And you know, to be quite honest, you can learn an awful lot from someone who's different than you are. Yeah. Hey, that sounds just like our Takes Pride oh, theme yeah, yeah, yeah. of yeah. acceptance. Yes. 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 You know, it's important to remember that you don't have to agree with someone, mm -hmm. but you do have to be kind. Yeah. yeah. You know, the people that laughed at what Bridget's wearing that wasn't kind. No, and if, not if at they all. don't like what she's wearing, then, you know, that's okay, but they don't have to laugh at her. No, no absolutely. You're right. Not. It hurt my feelings. Yeah, yeah. But I really like how I look. Sure. So I'm going to keep wearing what I like. Good job. Good for you. I agree. I agree with you, Bridget. It's up to all of us to appreciate that we're one of a kind. Mm -hmm. You know, unique. 
Yeah. Absolutely. One time, I brought in sushi for a snack, and all the other kids were like, ew, and they laughed. But oh. I liked it, so I just kept enjoying my sushi. You know, Doug, I, you know, as you were talking about that, we can also show acceptance by listening to other people and listening to what they think or what they feel. You know, I'll be honest. I don't like sushi, Doug. I really don't. But, but I respect the fact that you do like it, and that's good enough. I thought that Doug and Shailene showed me respect last week when they listened to the reason I was disappointed that they were late. Yes. Oh, that, that is good. such a great example, Carly. Yes. I think we really show each other acceptance. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. Be yeah. care. Hey, um, not to change the subject, sure. but okay. <laughs> do you all know how to fix a broken pumpkin? I do. I do. <clears throat> um, put a pumpkin patch on it. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> Here are Samantha Paisley, Emma, and Blake to show how they show acceptance. My name's Samantha and I show acceptance by being kind and friendly to everyone. Hi, my name is Paisley and I show acceptance how today someone was crying because someone said they weren't their friend anymore so I went over and said do you want to play with me and they said yes. Hi, I'm Emma, and I show acceptance by, I, I help my DVK buddies and I sit with them at lunch. Hi, my name is Blake, and I show acceptance by, whenever Mrs. Leatherman um, partners me up with somebody, I always, um, like, agree and to go with that one partner. Now, here are the students who were chosen this month for showing acceptance. Great job, Bobcats.
week's Hello Week question is just like last week's. What is one thing that always makes you smile? Here's Mrs. Bell with the Bobcat Beat to ask a few more students what always makes them smile. Hi Bobcats, it's week four of the Bobcat Beat and I'm here with my first grade buddy, Kaden. Nice loud voice, Kaden, I'm loving your hair. Kaden, when I think about things that make me smile all the time, I'm trying to figure out what are some things that make other people smile. So what makes you smile? My friends. His friends make him smile. What do they do that make you smile? They play with me. They play with you. Sometimes when you're feeling alone, what do they do to come and make you smile? They play with me. What do you guys like to play? We like to play tag. Oh, you like to play tag. That's a good sport and a fun game to play with friends. Can you do me a favor and sign off for me? So say, so long, Bobcats. So long, Bobcats. Thanks, Kaden. Hi, Bobcats. It's Mrs. Bell with the Bobcat Beat. And today I have a first grade friend named? Muhammad. This is Muhammad. Muhammad, I've been thinking this week a lot about things that make me smile. What's one thing that makes you smile? when you win a soccer game and he gets a medal. What do you have to do? Do you work together with your teammates? Yeah, he has to have teamwork to make sure that they win. And do you get upset sometimes if you lose? That happens too, but you know it's not a big deal, right? Not a big deal. He's a good sport. Muhammad, can you say so long, Bobcats? Thanks, Muhammad. Hi, Bobcats, it's Mrs. Bell, and I'm back for week four of the Bobcat Beat. Today, I have a first grade friend named? Layla. It's Layla. Layla, this week I'm wondering, what's something that always makes you smile? My mom. That's really sweet. Why does your mom always make you smile? When she makes funny faces. She makes funny faces at you. When does she do that? At home. At home. Layla feels happy and she smiles when her mom makes funny faces. Layla, can you say so long, Bobcats? So long, Bobcats. Our third grade had a rockin' good time last Thursday with their rock and roll themed day. Their day included black light glow rooms while doing reading, writing, and math skills. Check this out. Mrs. Nolan to tell us about Where's Waldo. Hi Bobcats, it's Mrs. Nolan. You might be asking yourself right now, why in the world is Mrs. Nolan wearing those glasses? I've never seen her in glasses like that before. You're absolutely right. These glasses are a clue about what I'm going to talk to you about today. Have you ever heard of Where's Waldo? If you haven't, I'm going to tell you about him. Where's Waldo is 
a series of books. That is Waldo. So he wears glasses like these, he wears a hat, and he wears a red and white striped shirt. Well, Waldo books have been around for over 30 years, and there's like 13 different ones. There's Where's Waldo in Hollywood, Where's Waldo the Fantastic Journey, Where's Waldo the Great Picture Hunt, and others as well. And Waldo goes on a lot of journeys. You might see him at the zoo. You might see him on a Hollywood movie set. You might see him on the beach. And what you do as the reader of these books is you look at the pictures and you try to find Waldo in the scene. It's pretty tricky. You might also be able to look for his friends. He has Wenda, his dog Wolf, Wizard Whitebeard, and Oddlaw. That's just Waldo backwards. Oddlaw is his arch nemesis. Well, it's important you know about Where's Waldo because today you just might see some Waldos walking around the building. I want you to take a try at finding Waldo. Here's a scene. See if you can find him. So how did you do? It's pretty tricky, right? Did you know that here at Bedminster, we have something called Where's Washam? You're gonna get a chance to try to figure out where Washam is. Give it a try. Let's say our bobcat pledge together. Bobcats, Bobcats believe in ourselves. ourselves. We, we don't give up and we always do our best. Remember, Remember Bobcats, Bobcats, be the reason someone smiles today. Now please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. Fourth grade Girl Scouts Colby, Glory, and Ella will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Have a great weekend. Bye!